Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Laura at Hyperstamper. I have a humongous journal to show you today. This is um, a vintage, actually quite old, book uh, called Birds of America. And I put an antique handle on this, brass handle. And I've got uh, some beautiful vintage beads here that I've run down the side. I strung some and some were already into a necklace form and matching ribbons. I've got uh, tatted, antique tatted lace up here, which is just beautiful. I've got some Chantilly lace here and two kinds of crochet doilies. I love this book. I love the geese on the front. Or are they ducks? Could be ducks. I think they're ducks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you this. This, I believe, I'm going to say is seven and a half by 11. It's a real, a really big one. So let me show you the inside. I've got this beautiful vintage tapestry here. And underneath, I've put a little hidden pocket with the children's book page. Another one here, antique paper on the back to journal on. And it's got the original inscription in here. And these are the original first pages of the book. So 1936 is an old one. This is a plate from inside the book. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't tear this originally. Um, it got torn. And so I tried to save it so I could still use it as a pocket. I think it's still beautiful. My favorite bird, the blue jay. And um, this is a beautiful piece from 1926. Look at this lovely page. Isn't that something? So... I um this is actually sorry I meant, forgot to mention this is a custom order so the wonderful woman who ordered this book she likes the big books because she does uh, mixed media in them here's an original plate from the book and here's a little pocket that I still haven't decided what to tuck in there but I think I have a good idea antique book page but she is an artist herself and so I put a, as much um antique art ephemera in here as I could here is a plate from 1902 from Courier and Ives. It's double-sided. Um, and here's another plate from the early 1900s, full color. And this is a 1932 scrapbook page from a couple that went on their honeymoon. And this is uh, when they visited some of the locks. And I want to say that this was in Michigan. Yes, that's from Michigan. Uh, a neighbor of uh, this uh, woman's state. And just some really fun clusters. This is a plate from a Masters of Art vintage book, vintage dictionary page, and that is an antique book page interior spine. I just love the texture. I think she'll enjoy that. Again, I picked pages that had beautiful images on them. And then this is the Birds of North America book here, or Birds of America from this book. This is a really fun piece here. Another bird here to go with sort of that bird theme. It's a uh, shorthand. So it's a page from a vintage, almost antique shorthand lesson book. I know they don't do shorthand anymore. And this was typed in the 1930s, uh, about a 1886 news article from the Commercial Union. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. More uh, crocheting down here. Just, this is also from uh, an old scrapbook. Uh, it's very brittle, so um, I tried to reinforce it as much as I could. Another antique page here, another uh, antique children's book page here, really fun about uh, transportation. Look how modern that is. This is from a 1920s ledger. It's the back cover. I think it's quite cool. It still has a number in it. Here is another kind of ledger page. It's an attendant sheet from the Beacon Lodge from the 1930s. And a vintage doily booklet page there. And look how fun this is. This has the original public library stamp in it. It says, a new friend. So I put antique paper on the front and back so that that can be used for journaling. And I just love this antique book page because it's called Happy Delights. Here is a wonderful vintage gardening book page. And this is perfect for her. It says, world's masterpieces of modern painting. And that is from the 1800s. That is very cool. A little leather piece here that when I got the book, that's all that was left of the spine. So she gets to have that in her collection. And then another antique book page here and another one here. I love this one. This was an advertisement for more books. And I just love the image here, the two little girls by the, or is it a girl boy? A girl and a boy by the river reading a thousand books. 
And then that's all tucked into this vintage tapestry piece pocket. And let's see here, more children's book pages. This is the flip sides of that. This is going to be a weird thing. When I do journals, it, any kind of journal, when you purchase one of my journals, you can ask for anything and hopefully I'll have it. This woman likes these muffs and uh, whenever I see one, I put it in, aside for her just in case she ever orders another journal. So I'm treating her to these wonderful little images here. I put a little side pocket here with an interior spine. I think she's going to love that. And again, because she's an artist, I thought she'd get a kick out of this. This is from a 1950s uh, magazine for uh, country music. And look at that. Draw the I remember these in comic books when I was young. It's just like she's going to love it. And then this is a wonderful little piece I got from an antique doily. Look at that. The little flowers there. Aren't they wonderful? Makes it quite heavy. And this is a, an antique book. This is in really good condition. It's a, a map of Yarm, a place in England. Just put these uh, little buttons here from a vintage sewing box I acquired. And this is a plate from the early 1900s on leprechauns. So fun. I love it. This is a vintage recipe book page here. And this is from my wonderful vintage birds, eggs, and their nests book. And there's a 1953 receipt from a milk company and a little vintage pocket there from the sewing page. And, oh yes, I just love this little piece here, a little piece of leftover embroidery, embroidered crochet doily, just some uh, little blank pieces here for her to journal on, here and here. And this is the back of an antique book. And I just like the way it was colored, so I turned it into a journaling tag. Well, why not? And that's all mounted on top of this 1955 stamp collector's page. And here is a wonderful, wonderful old photo from the 1920s. Uh, and that is Friends at Camp Cedar Nook. And I tried to look up Camp Cedar Nook, and it does not exist anymore. I love this tattered piece here. This is how I received it. And they didn't quite finish it. They drew the leaves on here, but didn't quite get to it. But it was well loved. Here's another one of those art pieces and drawer embroidery pattern here. Look at that, it's gorgeous. This is from uh, 1915, this page here from the uh, Girls' Own Annual. More of this artwork pages here. And I just put in as many clusters as I could. That's from 1926 Ledger that never got used. And here's another wonderful little Children with the Bunnies. And she can do whatever she likes on the back of that. I love this butterfly page from a children's book from the 1930s. And that brings us to the last original pages of the book. So I hope she loves it as much as I loved making it for her. And uh, don't forget, I have lots of journals in my shop, hyperstamper.etsy.com. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you soon.